friends in the coming two videos we will be learning the concept of simulation first of all what is simulation on the basis of past data sometimes we simulate we draw a model and then we try to find out the future demand or future anything so whenever you are predicting the future on the basis of past data you draw a model which is called a simulation model now generally in case of operations research we use monte carlo simulation now to apply monte carlo simulation we follow certain steps first of all in the questions you will be given certain data related to some demand and then the probability of that demand will be given sometimes this probability is not given and you convert the days into that probability so first step is the calculation of probability if it is given well and good if not given we calculate the probability of every demand second step is to calculate the cumulative probability we just cumulate that probability third step is the calculation of random number range from the cumulative probability we create a range for our random numbers the fourth step is creating the future demand we will just place the data of random numbers and then we will try to locate those random numbers in the range that we have earlier created so with the help of this we will be able to generate the demand for the future and with this future demand we can calculate the average demand for the coming 10 days or 20 days like that so these are the steps to be followed in the monte carlo simulation let us learn these steps with the help of one practical question this is the information given to you that there is a bakery which keeps the stock of popular brand of cake and the previous experience indicate that demand is like this that daily demand is 0 its probability is 0.01 daily demand is 10 its probability is 0.20 and like that so here you have to consider a sequence of random numbers the random numbers have been given in the question and from that you have to generate the demand for next 10 days it means you have to simulate the demand you have to generate the demand on the basis of this simulated data now generally the question of simulation will be like this sometimes here in case of probability anything else can be given like for example number of days have been given after daily demand number of days are given so you have to create the probability how days divided by total if, if there would have been 1 1 divided by total 100 20 20 divided by total 100 so i will be converting every time into a probability now in this question probability is already given so whenever the probability is already given you can start with the uh, just designing the random numbers so you will be preparing one table in which we will be designing the coding for the random numbers so you can just write above the table showing the random number coding we are going to code these random numbers first of all for that you will be creating a cumulative probability probability will be there if it is not there create it and now design cumulative probability first value will be same 0.01 next will be adding this 0.20 into it 0.21 next will be 0.36 added this 0.15 into it now by adding 0.50 it will be 0.86 next will be 0.98 and last will always be equal to 1 now from these cumulative probabilities we will be designing the random number intervals we will be just trying to calculate the intervals within which the random numbers will lie you will always start with 0 0 like this and next random number will be starting from 0 1 and next you will be taking one lesser than that so it will be 20 next will be starting from the next value 21 take one less than this 35 next will be starting with 36 and take less 1 85 next will be starting with 86 and take one less it will be 97 next will be starting with 98 and if it is 100 take it to be 99 so this is how random numbers intervals will be generated based upon the random numbers so whatever random numbers were given in the question according to that i have generated this now the random numbers have been given in the question already it will be given in every question if it is not given there are various random numbers tables from where we can take it so these are the randomly selected numbers it there is no fixed criteria so you can take any two last values first two last first two values central two values 
randomly you can take any value if nothing is given but in 99% of the cases you will be given the random numbers now we have to generate the demand for the next 10 days based upon this data now let us generate the demand now you will be preparing another table below where you will be writing the table showing the generation of demand or table showing the demand i am just making it on the right hand side so that you can have a clear look otherwise you will be making this a new table below only so first of all for how many days the demand have to be generated it is given in the question that you have to generate the demand for the next 10 days so the number of days you will be writing like this then you have to write the random numbers these random numbers should be given in the question most of the cases so i'm just copying it from the question where it is given 48 78 19 51 56 77 15 14 68 and 09 so if 10 days demand has to be generated 10 random numbers will be given now on the basis of this we will be generating the demand it is very simple 48 you have to see this range that we have created 48 it lies in which range this range exactly in front of that what is the daily demand 30 so demand is 30 second is 78 in which range it is lying 78 is again lying in this so again it will be 30 demand just in front of that what is the daily demand 19 19 will be lying in this range so here daily demand is 10 51 51 will be lying in this range demand is 30 56 will also lie in the same range 30 77 30 15 15 will be lying in this range demand is 10 for 14 as well demand will be 10 68 68 68 will lie in this range demand is 30 and 9 will be lying in this range this so this is your total demand you can add it so this total demand for 10 days comes out to be 220 units if in the question you have to, to have been told to calculate the average demand then 220 divided by 10 22 cakes will be the average demand per week per day whatever data has been given to you so this is how on the basis of past data we try to estimate the future data future demand earlier demand was given and now we have generated the expected demand for next 10 days now in some question some additional points may be given for example if in this question it has been written that that if the owner of bakery decide to make 30 cakes every day then what will be the stock if the owner is deciding to make 30 cakes so manufacturing production is 30 so we have to find out how many units will be left out so if 30 units are being demanded and 30 are consumed in the first day nothing will be left out 30 are demanded 30 are manufactured nothing left now see 30 are manufactured but 10 are in demand so 20 will be left right 30 are in demand 30 used 30 demand 30 used 30 demand 30 used but here this 20 is still lying so you have to carry forward it again 30 manufactured 10 is in demand so 20 will be left earlier we have 20 so 40 will be there again 10 demand 20 will again be left so 60 will be total left over 30 so nothing extra so 60 again 20 80 so 80 will be the left over if the manufacturer decide to make 30 cakes per day so this is how additional points can be added in the questions otherwise your demand generation will be like this